Hi there everyone, uh, welcome back. This is day 28 with my unusual numbering system. Uh, I wanted to talk about what's been happening in the last few weeks since my last video and then what's coming up with the process. Um, first, to the commenters, thank you for those who have been watching and commenting and encouraging me. One commenter had said that my beard, or lack of, uh, either shave it or grow it because uh, I look unkempt, which made me feel good because it means they weren't noticing the lisp. I'm one of those people who uh, have a permanent 5 o'clock shadow. Any tips are welcome to make me look like a baby face. Um, but since my last video, uh, I was very frustrated with my lisp and how I've been talking. Um, I wish, for those of you who are looking into getting linguals, I can only tell you you're going to go through the exact same process. It was very frustrating, especially those first few weeks, um, slowly but surely. Um, a few things happen. One, you do get better. I say I'm about 90% uh, lisp-free. There will always be some words that trip me up. Even now, talking, I don't feel as good as I did earlier in the day. Uh, I feel like I have longer good times as opposed to trouble times. Um, I found keeping my mouth moist, drinking a lot of liquids, helped. Now it kind of hinders me. If I drink too much, um, it kind of numbs my tongue and it makes it hard to talk. I find talking more did help. Uh, however, in those first few weeks after an eight, nine hour work day, uh, my tongue got pretty tired. Like now, I've you know, I've been going since 8 a.m. and I'm a little tired, so my tongue's uh, working extra hard to do, to do this video right now. I imagine as the months go by, it'll be practically unnoticeable. But there's another thing that happens, which you'll experience again if you're going to get lingles yourself. Uh, those first few weeks, I was obsessed. I hated it, wish I got something else, and then there's a moment where you realize, this is the path that I'm on. A, there's so many more things in the world uh, that are important. So you humble yourself when you realize that. And B, this is it. This is the process. There's metal stuff in your mouth. It's going to affect the things. And you stop worrying about it every second of the day, and you just deal with it. You have to go to work. You have to talk to people. You have to do what you do during the day. And you just... Stop freaking out about it. And I find now, the less I think about it, the better I am. Because right now I'm doing a video talking about it. I'm finding it more difficult. But just going through my day, it's pretty much unnoticeable. So, there it is. You'll, you'll get over it. Uh, again, I've had very little discomfort, very little pain. So I really shouldn't complain. Um, I wish I had more to offer in terms of how to deal with the conversion. It will be difficult, but you'll eventually get used to it. Uh, uh, so I wanted to show you... The only thing I've noticed so far in 28 days is there's a little bit of space happening up in the front. And that's another thing. They give you those flo uh, flossers. Uh, you put it through and then you can put the floss through there and kind of pull it through. First week, those were so difficult, especially my back teeth. It could be lack of flossing up until this point. It could be the fact that my teeth are crowded. It's another one of those things that your gums and teeth will get used to you shoving this thing through your mouth. So if you're having trouble with those in the beginning, just know that you're setting up a good system and eventually it'll take less time to floss and to clean. I find I can eat pretty much whatever I want. My front teeth are still really weak. They can't um, grip and pull and, and bite as I'm used to. Uh, I find I have to use a lot of my side teeth. I still have those Fujis, which they call Fuji. I don't know why. But it's, 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 it's going to be a biting surface, so I still have that. I don't know how long I'm going to need that, but thank God I have it because without it, I'm not sure I could do a lot of chewing. So, the next, uh, like I said, yeah, so a little, bit, a little bit of gaps in the front there. Um, I've also, much to my dismay, had to give up whitening toothpaste, uh, mainly because I'm going to be getting the ones on the bottom. Again, 
cosmetics are out the window at this point. I'm just up to keep it clean. And if they lose a little bit of their whiteness and color and get a little yellow over these six two years, I'll just do the best I can. But apparently white and toothpaste are no good. My orthodontist didn't explicitly tell me that, but it, it makes sense, especially since I'm going to get brackets on the front. Which leads me to where we're headed this coming Wednesday, which is day 30 in my timeline. The lower daemons are going to go on that go in the front. And to be honest, this is the new challenge for me, and it's going to be a psychological one, I know. Um, for those of you who've had them, or are about to, or are dealing with them, I'm sure everyone's hit the stage. I'm very concerned about how I'll be perceived. It's, at least with the linguals, people don't really notice, especially what my lisp almost gone. This, people will know. And I can't hide. Uh, I have some big group things happening, so people are going to know. So I know it's all in my head, and it's all about keeping perspective and keeping your set, your eyes on the end game, I guess. So, mainly this video is to give you an update, but also to show you how those bottom teeth for the last time, because as of Wednesday, they'll begin their permanent process of change. I'll probably do another video uh, with those on to kind of tell you I'm going to have rubber bands. I'm not sure how that's all going to work. Cleaning is probably going to be a new thing and things, more things I can't eat. So we're along for the ride. So please leave comments below. Thank you for your support. And if you have questions about what I have or what I'm dealing with, please Ask away and I will reply. Alright, have a good night.